golf my future in my game? I'm gonna tell you what we do. We have fun, we have fun, and we have fun. So ACE stands for Alternative to the Court Experience. It's a diversion program that gives young um, status offenders an opportunity to have charges never go on the record. Whatever charge brought them to us gets dropped. My case manager, he was like, it's this program where you learn how to play golf and you can get out of the house. So I was just like, give it a try. The vision for this program is just to get some, the typically underrepresented communities a chance to explore the game of golf because the game of golf presents so many opportunities for young kids and if they're given access to it that they will they will thrive in it. My social worker and my mom talked about it and then I said yeah I would like to do the program. What's funny and interesting about Amari is he's so intense and you can tell when he's ready to go to another level. Marquell is one of a kind. He is one of the funniest, smartest, most creative and brilliant young men I've ever met. And he's someone who will not let a system dictate his life. Yet he understands that there is a life beyond that system. We've partnered with a lot of outside service providers, so golf kind of came in as one of those tools that we tried to use to engage youth, and we decided to partner and, and try to get some of our young people involved. I just thought it was going to be boring. Like, I didn't know, like, what we were going to I don't know about golf. Well, I didn't know about golf or none of that, but it turned out cool, so. What was it, like, my fourth shot, and I hit it far on the driving range? That's when it was fun, and when I started driving the golf cart, yeah, that was cool. The young people come from various parts of the city of Washington, D.C. We know that golf is a game of not just athleticism, but it also is a pathway to different career options where this program comes into place as a recreational activity is number one. We know that when you incentivize young people with recreation activities that they are more successful in other areas of their life. Young, young men are great. Um, I see a little bit of myself in them every day and it's, it's amazing just to see them grow even though it's only been four weeks. It's amazing just to see how comfortable they become how how happy they are when they hit a good shot it reminds me like a little bit of me when i was younger so it's it's good for them but it also it also puts a smile on my face as well overall my expectations were met the relationships that have been developed over these eight weeks have been nothing short of miraculous so it's just little things like that that i'm so proud and happy of and for but i'm most proud that they have taken an interest in this game, and not only from an athletic perspective, but also from a business perspective. They understand now that golf really is the green boardroom. You know, there are certain people that I have to thank for this opportunity, Hillary, Rashana Roach, Jasmine, Leonard, and Mr. Anthony. This team provided the platform for these young men to participate. I can't leave out Mr. Jerry, Jerry Dunn, who, out of the kindness of his heart, brought them here to the course, waited, and then took them back to their respected homes. And then here, Jimmy Garvin, Linda Hart, Henry Turner, Van Jones, Willie Blakely, thank you all. And Pamela, thank you. Because of you, people will know more about us. So thank you for coming and being a part of us.